When the players are two of the most powerful icons in the world, fate can be cruel. Washington, Hollywood. No rules, no boundaries. Kennedy, Monroe. A lethal cocktail of power, fame, lust, and greed. Disfigurement in every sense of the word. With deception being the ultimate illusion. Good morning and welcome to your well news. Today, November 22nd, 1973, marks the 10th anniversary of John F. Kennedy's assassination and the end of the American Camelot. As the president's motorcade drove leisurely through the streets of downtown Dallas, on that historic day, the smiles and cheers from his adoring fans soon turned into screams of horror as they witnessed President Kennedy being shot. However, the real question may be, was Camelot truly the American dream? or just a house of cards with a king who overdosed on power and for his own motives took his fallen star with him. Join me now as we look back. They were riding an open automobile when the shots were fired. The president, his limp body carried in the arms of his wife Jacqueline, has rushed to Parkland Hospital. Uh, and if you'll excuse me if I give some directions and we talk about what we're going to do here for the next few minutes. But Bobby, let's tape this if you please, particularly the interview. Hi. I, uh, I thought maybe, no, I'm not feeling too good. I, I, I thought maybe you could come over. Mm -hmm. Oh, the party. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, why wasn't I invited? I, you think you could come over after? See me? Okay. 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 I love you. I love you. I saw his head practically open up, all blood and everything, and I kept on shooting. That's about all. I'm just sick again. Yeah, everything's in progress here. Our ambulance is about five minutes away. How are we on your end with the doctors? Are they on location? Okay. All right. Um, we'll get everything ready here. We'll get her ready for transport, and I'll call you when we're en route. Okay. Thank you. Bye. You want to straighten up your tie and uh, do me a favor and clean up that table over there. Get rid of some of those pills. Yeah. Thank you. The pain would come to be forever linked to the events of November 22nd, 1963. I don't understand why. Your name, please, sir. My name is Abraham oh, Zapruder. I... And would you tell us your story, please, sir? I got out in, uh, about a half hour earlier and get this a good spot. Oh, Hello? Hi, Grace. No, it's been a terrible day, just terrible. Yeah, horrible. I mean, it's the 10th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. 
No, just in bad shape. No, I, I had her take a nap, and then we're going to have some dinner. Yep. Oh, hold on. Hold on. She's coming. Hold on. It's Grace. It's Grace. Hi. Grace, how are you? I would love... No. No, 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 no. No, everything is fine. I'm fine. Lunch sounds perfect at your waterfall home. Lovely. Looking forward to it. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. Nancy, just forget what you're doing. Let's get our coats. Let's get something to eat. It's been a long day. My my purse in the car. Don't worry. I, I, Don't worry, Dad. Come on in. Come on in. I haven't so seen you in so long. It's so wonderful to see Come you. On. Look at this. Oh, it's coming down. Wow. This is beautiful. You know what? I'm going to leave you here a second snow. and get you a drink. Okay. Enjoy. I'll be right back. Okay. There you go, sweetie pie. Your oh. favorite drink. Thank you so much, Grace. You're welcome. Come on in whenever you're ready. I'm just finishing up lunch. What an encore. Miss Monroe.